Hi, this is Dave Phillippe with FabCAD, and now I want to show you how you can make a 3D spiral staircase using a 2D program. So, what we're going to do, we're going to draw a spiral staircase that has a 9 foot finish floor, finish floor, and a 5 foot diameter, and has a 330 degree rotation. So, in order to do this, we're going to start off by drawing a circle for the center post, the mast. So, I'm going to hit D for diameter and type 4 and do a 4 inch diameter circle. Let me go ahead and let's erase this logo right now. Okay, so that's one component that we need. Let's double check that and make sure that it's 4 inches in diameter because you don't want to start off with long size, have to go back and redo everything. So now, we have a 5 foot diameter overall. So I'm going to draw the first line of the top tread. So I'm going to draw a line from the center of the circle, put on ortho so I do it straight, and type 2.5 feet, which is half of a 5 foot diameter. So I don't know if you knew that, but you can, you can draw using that kind of dimension. So that's the beginning, that's the beginning of this tread at the top, swinging around down to the bottom. The Rotation is 330 degrees, so we'll use rotate to get that. So I'll click the rotate command, and I'll select this line here. And then it asks for the base point, which would be here. And then I want to keep the original line, and I want to set the next one up wherever it ends up over here. So I'm going to pick the copy option to copy the original line. And I'm also going to use the reference option to give me the right angle. So the reference angle is zero, I'll hit that, and then the new angle is prompting me for is 330 degrees. So there it is, right there, 330. So we can check that too while we're at it. So if we check it, the angular dimension, this should be 30 degrees in here, because 360 minus 330 is 30. All right, so this is the beginning of the spiral going down, and this is the end of it. Now. So the next thing I need to do is to array this line around to create the step tread. So the number of total treads is 11. And you need 12 lines to create 11 treads. So I'm going to go to the classic array command here. And I'm going to go with polar. And I'm going to select the objects, which is this piece here. Okay. And then I'm going to, the center point of the array is the center of the post. And the number of items is going to be 12 to create 11 treads. And the angle to fill is 330, 330. So let's do a preview. Okay, that looks right. So let's just right click to accept that. So we have theoretically two lines right here so let me double check that I'll erase and cross through this and it says two found okay so I'm going to remove one of them hit R and remove and now we have just the one line here alright so that's the array of the of the treads now we want to trim out the center here let me trim and I'm just going to go through here trim out like so. Then I want to create my first tread. So I'm going to trim this here to get the back side of the tread where it butts to the post. I'm going to go ahead and erase the rest of this. I'm going to redraw the post. So don't worry about that. So, I'm going to, so there's the tread. Then I want to do the outside of the treads. I don't know exactly what this length is here. don't need to know that. I'm going to use the offset command and I'm going to use the through option, offset through. So it says select the object to offset. I'm going to offset this. And the through point is the end point. See how it previews here? End point of that line there. So there's my tread. So now let's put the post back in. So I'm going to draw a circle from the center of that and the diameter is 4. So I've got, the, I've got my circle back for the post. Okay, so let's start applying some thickness to all of this stuff. So the, we got a 9 foot rise 
floor to floor. I'm going to, and three. I'm going to figure three feet above that. So I'm going to click on this post and I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to apply a thickness to it of 12 feet. All right, and to keep track of everything, I'm going to give it a color. And I'm going to call this, make it a blue, we'll have a blue post. All right. Then I want to apply a thickness to the step tread themselves. So I'm going to click on one of the lines of the step tread. And I'm going to make that step tread an inch and a half thick, 1.5. Okay, and I'm going to give that a color. So let's give it uh, magenta. All right, and then I'm going to apply, I'm going to use match properties. I'm going to apply that property to all the lines that make up the tread. I'll put a window around the bottom one here. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's do a 3D view and let's take a look and see what it looks like. So I'm just going to go into a southeast isometric. And there is your 12 foot post and there is your tread that's an inch and a half thick. Okay, you can also pick conceptual. It gives a neater looking look here. How about that? All right. So let's go back to 2D wireframe and let's go back to the top view. All right. Next thing I want to do is put a steel plate on this tread. So I'm going to use my hatches here, specifically a, a gradient, and I'm going to drop this steel gradient in here. Makes it look like a steel plate. Okay. Now that gradient since we're drawing from the top, that gradient is sitting on the floor. I need to move it up an inch and a half till it's even to the top of the tread. So I will click on this and I'll go to the move command and the base point will zero is X and zero is Y and Z is the height. So 1.5 enter, enter. And then when I by doing that, I've moved that thing up. So let's see what that looks like. So let's just do a southeast isometric again. You can't really tell from that. Let me take the order. Let me just do a rotation. So there you go. You can see that it's moved up to the top of the tread. That's where the plate is. Okay. All right. Now, next thing we need to do is let's put a picket on this tread. So I'm going to just draw a circle and I'm going to make it a three quarter round. So I'll hit D for diameter and a three slash four for the diameter circle. Hit enter. I'm going to move this. Well, first of all, let's apply thickness and color to this. So uh, I'm going to go back to the properties again and the thickness, I'm going to make it 38 inches thick. And I'm going to give this a color. Let's call it. Uh, let's make it. Let's make it green. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to move this over. Onto the step tread here. I'm just going to put it, say, right there. And I'm going to move that up an inch and a half. So I'm going to go move, and I'm going to pick that. Okay. And I'm going to do 0, comma, 0, comma, 1.5, enter, enter. All right, so now we've created a unit that has the tread, the plate on the top, and the picket. So let's see, make sure it looks right. Let's just go down here. Let's do a southeast isometric. And there is the, yeah, it's sitting on top of the tread. Okay. So what I want to do when I'm I'm going to array all of this around, I want to go ahead and group it so it's easier to do it. So I'm going to go back. I'll go back to my top view again, and I'll go to the group command, and I'm going to group all of this. Put a window around the back side of that tread there. Okay, that's all one piece. All right. So now next thing to do is to array this tread around to create the spiral stair. So I'll go back to the array command and I'm going to pick the center point is going to be the center of the post. Select the objects which will be this group here. And the rotation, well it's, there's 11 treads, not 12. There's 11 treads, so 11. And the angle of fill 330. So let's preview that. Okay, well, 
it's just gaps in between because the problem is the entity itself that we're rotating is has 30 degrees in it so what we need to do is back off 30 degrees and then let's see what it looks like so I'm going to hit escape and change this 330 to 300 and then preview it yeah that's it then I right click to accept it okay so now this is the bottom tread, and this is going down around from here, counterclockwise. So now let's take a look at what we've got here. And let me do conceptual. Okay, so we've got all these treads that are on the floor, and now we need to raise them up on nine inch increments okay of course the bottom tread is already an inch and a half above the floor so we'll our first move will be seven and a half inches which will bring the top of that bottom stair nine inches off the floor everything else will be moved nine inches so let's go and we'll move all these objects Right click and the base point is 0, 0, 7.5, enter, enter. Next, the easiest way to do this is to move everything up 9 inches and remove one and then do it that way. So I'm going to move my previous selection. Then I am going to hit R for remove and remove the bottom tread and then type in 0, 0, 0,9, enter, enter. So now you've got everybody is on the second tread. So then I'll go ahead and I'll do a move command again. I'll hit M for move, P for previous, R for remove, and remove this tread here. And then type 0, 0, 0,9, enter, enter. Let's do one more. Then it will skip over the rest of them. So I'm going to move again. Move. P for previous. R for remove. So remove that one. And then the base point will do 0, comma, 0, comma, 9, enter, enter. There we go. So now it's starting to progress up and it's starting to look like a spiral. Okay. So we'll come back after I've got all the rest of them done. Okay, so this is what the spiral looks like after we've done all the moving of each individual tread. Okay, so, so far, so good. Now we're going to put a handrail on this thing. Okay, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it in 3D. Let's zoom out a little bit. I've discovered that the, probably the easiest thing to use, I mean, there's 3D polylines and all that. Now, you may not have the 3D polyline available on your version, but you do have a spline, and uh, oddly enough, that works pretty good. So let me go over here, and let me go to Draw, and let's pick Spline, and then I'm just going to go from the here to here to here to there to there to there to there. See how things developing here? Okay. And let's give that a color. So I'll click on this and we'll make that, uh, let's make it red, I guess. We'll try red. Okay. All right. And then to give it some oomph, we'll put a line weight on it. So I'll click on this and we'll go to back to properties and we'll go to line weight and do something like that. Okay? There we go. That's basically the spiral. Now, if you want to dimension this, one of the things with our current version, it looks like you can dimension it right here in the model space. So let me go back and let me just do a front view. You've got to do it, have everything set and straight. Well, maybe it'll try another view. Let's see what the rear view looks like. Back. Yeah, that looks good. Let's try that. 
So let's see if we can get a uh, dimension here. So let me go linear and go from the end point there to there. Nine inches. How about that? Okay. And then you can show them the length of the, uh, the post here to here. Twelve feet. Actually, I believe it's probably easier to draw it this way than to try to do a draw it in 2D and do elevations and do isometric drawings or trying to you know get the get the look that you're getting there. I find it easier to create this using thickness and elevation rather than trying to draw it in a flat 2D format. So hopefully this will uh, give you some ideas on how to deal with creating visuals for 3D visuals. You could use this for obviously for a circular staircase. You can also draw railings doing this thing. You know, just set you set the elevation and you set the thickness and you can get the, the 3D look that you want without having a 3D program. Take care. Bye.